Well, Justin Trudeau finds himself the target of ethics questions this weekend after a charity asked him to send his speaking fee back a year after an event which didn't draw enough people to make any money. So after weeks of him hammering conservatives over ethical calls, the Liberal leader is with us now to face his own question period. So let me make sure uh, I have this straight. A charity in New Brunswick says they want to raise about $300,000 uh, for some new beds for a nursing home. Uh, they try to reach for a big name, which you were the, to try to draw people in. Didn't work out. They ended up losing money. They want to back. Do you feel any obligation at this point to uh, give that $20,000 fee back? I'm, I'm going to answer that in a moment, but I want, to, I want to sort of set the table a little bit. We're having this conversation because I voluntarily disclosed all my sources of income, all my revenue sources back in February when I was doing uh, the, the, the leadership of the Liberal Party. And I chose to raise the bar for transparency and openness way beyond uh, it, what is expected by any sort of rules or even expectations of, of, uh, of a leadership candidate or even a, uh, a minister. So saying, um, I, I've been blessed with high hopes from Canadians for me all my life. And I know that Canadians expect or hope for a lot from me. And I'm running to be uh, Prime Minister of this country and hold the highest position of trust in the land. And therefore, I've decided uh, that uh, it is the right thing to do uh, to offer to help. Um, the Grace Foundation and any other organization I uh, spoke for as an MP uh, to either uh, give them an equivalent donation uh, or work with them to try and uh, fix it and make it right, I am going to uh, meet the high bar that Canadians expect of their leaders. So are you pledging, because you earned hundreds of thousands of dollars as an MP speaking, are you pledging to give all of that money back or are you saying if you want to hold an event I'll show up for free? Uh, it, I'm going to work with every organization individually. How but if is they that? want that could be dozens, right? Oh yeah, there's, there's a, a, a large number of them. Some of them had successful events, some of them apparently the Grace Foundation didn't have a great one. I'm going to sit down uh, with every single one of them. Uh, and uh, fix this and make it right. I'm doing this not because I'm uh, worried that I did something wrong, because I didn't. Uh, everything was done exactly according to the rules. But, you know, it's Father's Day. Uh, you're a dad, I'm a dad. Uh, we think about our fathers on a day like this, and my father would want me in this situation uh, to live up to Canadians' expectations of me. And the idea of service, the idea of helping people, the idea of leading by example uh, is something that is so important to me uh, that I got from him uh, that I'm going to make this right. Well, they are looking at you, you're right, and they are looking at you uh, for the standard that you have set. Um, this was a charity. Uh, did you know it was a charity at the time? I, as a public speaker, uh, and like the many professional public speakers out there, uh, we get called in to uh, you know, speak to charities, to, for fundraisers, to raise money for them, to draw attention to the cause. There's all sorts of reasons to do it. Uh, and yes, uh, they, it was arranged. Uh, they hired me to help make their event a success. Uh, and, but even though I know that I'm clear on that, that's not good enough. I'm going to uh, work with them and deal with them straight and fix this situation that they that they have. And you, any you pay any other back? Will you, are pay you some to pay absolutely. All the I'm, money back. I'm willing to pay all of the money back uh, if if that's if that's what it comes to. And I'm going to work with them on that. But I am going to going to fix this. When, when when we talk about charity, I mean, I am one of those people who also takes speaking fees for certain events, as mm -hmm. many people in the media and some people in politics do as well. One of the things, though, is I have never um, I have never charged for a charity. What does it say about Justin Trudeau when he heard that this was a an 80 bed nursing home and it was their first fundraiser trying to do a good thing? That at that time you still said, "I want my fee." Uh, they didn't approach me. They approached the speakers, the speakers agency, and they went through it with them. And they, we signed a contract, and they were hopeful that they were going to make uh, money off of it. And they didn't end up. And that, you know, you, you know from having spoken that sometimes an event is good and sometimes an event is bad. But I'm sure you're proud of the work you did and I'm certainly proud of the work that, that I did as a professional public speaker. But I also realize that Canadians expect more from me. Uh, and I am glad to use uh, what I can to do what I can 
uh, to deal with these organizations straight and, and to fix it if there's any problems that they've had. Well, you and all parliamentarians, we've heard about this uh, in regards to Senators Duffy and, and Pat Wallen as well. What instructions are you now going to give your MPs uh, in the Liberal Party about how to engage in these kinds of paid speaking engagements from this point forward? Uh, listen, there's a conversation to have about um, members of parliament and uh, you know, work they do on the side. Over half of all parliamentarians have income and revenue on the sides. And people who are lawyers, are you going to uh, you know, expect that they not uh, represent uh, you know, charitable organizations? I mean, there's, there's a, there's a conversation to have. But they take money for have. charitable? Uh, well, they, they take professional legal fees from charitable organiza organizations to represent them. I mean, this is, this is a big, bigger conversation to have. But I'm not having that conversation about MPs right now. I'm looking at my own uh, expectations of myself and the situation that we're in uh, where I am seeking out the highest office in the land and you know Canadians want me to serve our country and the extraordinary organizations and good people who help out around the country and I am pledging uh, to do everything necessary uh, to help them uh, move forward. Um, have you or did you uh, while you were an MP uh, use any of the House of Commons travel fund uh, to uh, be able to do any of these speaking engagements? Absolutely not. From, from the very first day I arrived as, a, as an elected MP in 2008, uh, I checked with the Ethics Commissioner. We were cleared before, during, and after. Uh, it was always entirely, entirely separate for me. Uh, there was no overlap. There should be no overlap. And I never spoke as an MP either. I always spoke uh, as a, an environmental education advocate, which, which I've been for a long time, and as a, as a former teacher. Do you, um, do you accept, though, that, I mean, the case you're trying to make to Canadians is that you're going to do politics differently, yeah. uh, that you care about the middle class. Do you accept uh, that until today, that the way you conducted yourself uh, on the question of speaking fees and the celebrity that you're able to, you know, make money off of, frankly, um, that that was working counter to the case that you're trying to make to Canadians? Well, for, first of all, uh, one speaking event you can make off of celebrity. Uh, the kinds of uh, requests for me that kept coming in throughout my uh, the past five years uh, were based on the fact that uh, I'm a pretty good speaker. I'm actually a very good speaker. And I'm very proud of the professional work that I did in terms of making people's events a success. And that's why uh, they kept calling me back. So, no, it doesn't have anything to do with, or minimal to do with celebrity, and everything to do with the hard work uh, that I've done to help organizations, to offer organizations a service that I can. Brad um, Wall, the Saskatchewan Premier, went in on this, and he said, is there any money that Justin Trudeau raised on the speaking fee circuit that he applied to his leadership campaign. Listen, conservatives uh, are typical in their negative approach these days of trying to smear and trying to raise questions. And I'm, I'm pushing all that aside. That's not a reaction that's bringing me here this morning. Okay, I'll give you one last question. I'll go back to that one. Did you or did you not use money from the speaking engagements toward your leadership oh, campaign? Oh, absolutely not. It would have been illegal and, and, and wrong. And it, it actually can't be done, as, as everyone will see uh, as we put forward all the, uh, uh, the, the receipts and the, and the statements of, uh, of the donations. What I'm proud of is we reached out to uh, tens of thousands of Canadians who donated to the leadership campaign that had never done it before. I'm very proud of the fundraising we did that way. But of course, it was all done in absolute compliance uh, with uh, all Elections Canada and other rules. All right. Justin Trudeau, thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Such a pleasure, Kevin. Happy Father's Day. Same to you.